Hello the people, I'm Ant Page and welcome back to Chrismon, the 25 day marathon where I play Kingdom Hearts and Pokemon because y'all can't make up your minds. This is the second day and I already got the Nintendo Switch hooked up to the capture card because there's one more rule about the wheel. If I land on the same game twice in a row, I have to spin again because I'm not playing the same game twice in a row. Because that's a slippery slope. Twice in a row becomes thrice in a row, then then four ice and twice and I don't know, but you know the drill. We gotta make room for variety because we picked Kingdom Hearts and Pokemon. So once I give you the bird's eye view, we can make our fair selection. And this time it is... And Paige's choice. I choose Violet because it's already loaded on my Switch. Let's go. Normally, I don't play uh, mainstream Pokemon games, but y'all voted for it, so that's why we're doing it. Enrollment application to Uva Academy. Wait, are you saying I go to school in this game? Are they trying to be Yu-Gi-Oh! GX? Because Yu-Gi-Oh! GX this is not. Unless the school is teaching me how to catch Pokemon, and how to take care of Pokemon, and how to breed Pokemon, and who Team Rocket is. Like, what happened to the classic formula of collect the eight gym badges and be the champion and save the world? Why do I have to go to school? Isn't that what playing Pokemon is supposed to always avoid doing? Lean the way into the future while valuing our individuality. Oh, someone called Tucker Carlson. This school is woke. Clamshell. I mean, Clavel. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. Isn't every region in the world home to a mysterious creature known as Pokemon? Like, it's not exactly mysterious if it's all over the damn place. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. So does everywhere! Did someone just try to cross Eevee with a bear and a mouse? Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. And yet they got rid of the law that lets us marry our Pokemon? That's kinda weird. This academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. That's like having to go to school to learn how to take care of your dog. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. I think we found one of Brock's children. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle growing alongside them. While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. We, the faculty and staff at this academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Okay, I'm gonna call it. This game was probably created because someone somewhere didn't like that um, the main protagonist basically got to stop doing school and go catch Pokemon and become the new champion. Uh, so I guess now they're integrating school as part of this. Which I guess, yeah, from a uh, parental perspective makes sense, but it kind of defeats the purpose of uh, the Pokemon journey, is that you learn as you adventure and you gain your own independence. So... Yeah, brownie points for dealing with community vibes, but boo, you kind of defeated the whole purpose of your franchise. I mean, not the purpose of your franchise, the purpose of your franchise is to make money. I mean, the purpose of your story from Gen 1.
These levels look pretty cool, I'll admit. Is he reading the instruction manual? Uh, remember when games used to have instruction manuals? Good times. Left stick to walk. It had to literally teach me left stick is walk. It's a squovit plush made with care using nice soft material. That is cute. It's your soft fluffy bed. It's got a lovely sun warm scent. Was the narration written by my mom? Your bag and hat are hanging here, but it's not time to get ready yet. Adventure guide. Oh, I was reading the adventure guide. Press X to open the main menu. Select save to save. What's the point of saving? The game clearly auto-saved just fine. Oh, look. A Nintendo Switch. This one's got a bigger screen. Is that the OLED model? God, I wish I had the OLED model. Well, it's not like I'm doing just fine with the model I have that is completely hackable, even though I haven't done that yet. It's your very own wardrobe adorned with Pokemon stickers. Too bad I can't change my outfit. I'm stuck with this cheesy school uniform like a good little sub. Your mom built these shelves herself. They're neatly decorated with your belongings. Can I look at the TV? Today on Suit, on Suit Adventures, we'll see Mezagoza, a city that's home to a well-known academy. Oops, better get going. Are you kidding me? Does this house not even have doors? Like, you literally go up the stairs and I'm in my room. There's no doors here. Where's any sense of privacy or... Muncha? Is that Squovin' a Pac-Man? That's your mom's room. Better not go in there without asking. Oh yeah, she likes to go in there with her private time with the radio turned up. Although I might not have any stations because all I hear is buzz. This painting is entitled Street Midday. It depicts a beautiful town in a different region. Which region? I have no clue because I'm not as well versed in the Pokemon games as everyone else is. I know you guys are that watch this stuff. I don't even get a I don't even get a freaking run button. That stinks. You see this squirrel of it? Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. How come it takes more than one squirrel to change a light bulb? They're so dang stupid. And am I gonna get canceled for saying that now? This room's just used for storage. You don't need to go in. Yeah, because I get, like, infinite storage in these games, right? Not like Pokemon Go, where they make you throw out your best items, else give them your money. What kind of house has no doors? The school contacted me and said you're supposed to wait here a little longer. What, am I waiting for the bus or something? Their words, not mine. Sure. Apparently there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Ding dong ding, there's someone at the ding. Why do I walk so slow? This game is weird already. Is this the door? Do forgive the intrusion. You are Master Michael, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. Are those premiere balls? I am the director of Uva Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. I don't know if it's Clavel or Clavel, but I'm just going to say Clavel because it sounds catchier. The director? And you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Why do they have a bag of papers? Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you come on this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, uh, no need to trouble yourself. Mike, I got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish game for school? You'll need your bag and hat as well. Well, they're already hanging on the bed. That's easy peasy. You simply must join me for a coppa this way. I knew this game was British. Sword and Shield were British, so I figured this game's obviously British too. How can I refuse such a kind offer? Uh. Like, are all the games just going to be British from now on, or is the next game going to be Australian? Like, I can just imagine the next uh, Pokemon game, the guy's going to come over, 
and my buddy's gonna say like, you know, I might fancy a burgie or something. <sighs> Sorry, Raptor. <laughs> well, I might as well. What else am I gonna do? Stare at my hat and bag. God, I look like a tool. When do I get my running shoes? Or any shoes besides these freaking loafer majiggers? Oh, just look at you, all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of your storied academy suits. The uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh, gracious, how very careless of me. I entirely forgot that I have something else for you, Master Michael. A most important thing. But your living room is highly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Is this the part where I get a Pokemon? Or a bike? Or a running shoes? Or anything? It's been a while since I've played a Pokemon game. I have no idea what's going on. Is it just me or am I getting, like, artifacting on the screen? Like, is that... I, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen, right? Oh, did the shadow just glitch? Oh, the shadows! Look at the shadows! Oh, God, that is... Like, I'm not even trying to break the game. I'm just noticing these little inconsistencies, and it's taking me out of the immersion. Choose which among these three you like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Spear. That's cute. Fue Coco, the fire crack Pokemon. Rawr. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. Um. They're all very good company. Why they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Hmm, so it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Michael, than familiar old me. Well, they're all level 5 and you're not doing anything, so that makes sense. Why not take this opportunity to walk about these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I've got a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. The Rodom phone. First Rodom was a Pokemon. Uh, no, first Rodom was a talking Pokedex. Then it became a freaking bike. Then it became the PC. And now it's a freaking smartphone! <sighs> God, Rotom is just gonna take over the freaking world, isn't it? The latest model of smartphone. Yeah, I bet. A Pokemon called Rotom lives within it and can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. Can I play Pokemon Go on it? It's a brand new phone! According to the instructions, you can check the map out by pressing the Y button. What's a Y button? I mean, in the context of the universe, what's a Y button? I already know what the Y button is on the freaking controller. Now off you go, have fun. So I guess I'm walking with them before I choose, or do I have to choose now? Head down, head to the house down the way. Oh, what the frick? Why am I so slow? I'm holding the stick as far as I can. Okay, what's this chick? Oh, oh, now I can run. Now I can run. All of a sudden, now that I'm talking to this girl right here, I can run. Just a little pinch of community, but it's home. Well, of course it is. The power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can have adventures together up to four of you at a time. Wow! Too bad I can't find enough people to go in this glitchy landscape with me. Where'd my Pokemon go? Oh. Okay, that's a sexy one in the water. That's a pretty one in the flowers. And he just burned his lunch. Aww. He just needs help. I should help him. Are you these three's trainer? 
Not quite. Master Michael's yet to make his choice, you see. Buenas, we haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on. Hang on, Director. Is this where I think it is? Yes, this is our Academy's newest student, Master Michael. He will be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved in up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. We're gonna get along just fine. God, that smile though. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion rank trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. I didn't even get a Pokemon yet. You two will be in the same class. You'll have plenty of time to battle later. When did the gym badges come in? And get to know one another better, of course. What's, like, how do I be a Pokemon master if we're all going to school? We're gonna be neighbors and classmates? Nice, we have a battle we want. So she's my rival, okay. Oh, that's no, it's Master Michael. Have we decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? Part of me wants to pick Sprigatito because grass types. Like, I started my Pokemon journey years ago with fire types, and I picked a grass type starter in Sword and Shield. But I feel like if I pick Sprigatito, it'll just be for the meme. Because, you know, Weed Cat and all that, right? It's hard to choose, but I think because it looks so special that it reminds me of me, I'm going to pick Fue Coco. Ah! It looks like a bubble bobble. Would you like to give Fue Coco a name? Yes! I can't even sp- Wait, B U B B. Yes, I can, I can, it'll fit. Oh, no, 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 no! What did I do? What did I do? Did I break it? No. I, I went without giving it a nickname. Fuck! Can I restart or something? I wanted to call it Bubble Bobble. I'll go to... I. Someone tell me there's a name changer in this game. Or something. These are your first Pokemon. Yes, please raise it with love and care. And of course, we should keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. I can't believe you actually chose White Coco. Am I stupid? I mean, like, wait a minute, the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Sure. Fire and ice. I'm cold as ice. I'll go for this little one. Yeah, I think that's just a trope of the buddy trainer. They always pick the Pokemon that sucks against yours. So now she gets the Weed Cat. I'll nickname my guy Bubble Bobble when I find the name changer. In the meantime, he's just standard for Coco. She wants me to battle her immediately? She's a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you to get to know your own Pokemon as well. It's weird how the Pokemon battling arena looks suspiciously like a volleyball court. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So you ready to battle me? Well duh, what else is this game gonna be? Let us have a fruitful battle. How convenient I have the apple the crocodile. Okay, now it looks familiar. Okay, Fue Coco! Use Amber. I know what type of advantage is. You must be signing up. Smart move. Fire strong against grass. Megatito was burned. I win!
Oh, I leveled up immediately. I'm gonna try a different strategy. One more. Oh, please tell me it's not gonna. Tell me he's gonna interrupt. Please tell me he's gonna interrupt. They are surely really for that last battle. Oh, <laughs> thank goodness. I thought it was gonna be a boss rush. You can't put a boss rush at the start of the game. Uh, they're fast friends and they just met. Well, that's how the world works in video games, I guess. I'm sure you can learn a great deal from a champion rank trainer such as yourself. Am I gonna fight her in the final round? Like, is is, this, is, is she the Elite Four? Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. The Pokédex app. The Pokédex app. Yeah, let's just take all the charm and mystical technologicalness out of the equation. We don't need a dedicated machine anymore to tell us what the Pokemon are. It's just an app on our phone now. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. Are my Pokeballs connected via Bluetooth? It's a must-have for trainers. A super handy app. Our homeroom teacher made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. Filling out a Pokedex by hand, I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Ugh, my hand's probably just cramping thinking about it. It's a matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is a truly timeless pleasure. Let me get a little more time working on my Pokedex on all my battling. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, you probably never caught wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the rest before I take you to the Academy. Oh, yay! Now we get our balls and we get to start training. The Nuzlocke begins. Just kidding, I don't do Nuzlocke's. Well, not on this channel. I... There is a soul link in progress with, uh... Uh, Septile 720, but I kind of put that on an indefinite hold because of how crap my internet was. But now I hear it's getting better, so... I am willing to run some experiments with other people, to be sure. We. Am I just going back the way I came, or is this, or is this new territory? Was that our house? I forget. Do I go? Do I go this way? Oh, that is back the way our house. That's our mom again. So you've already managed to make a friend. Yep. Why am I so short? And why don't I mind? Handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Gender neutral bathrooms. You'll be staying in a school dorm, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. So I'll, well, that's, wait a minute. Hold on a freaking minute. If that was the school I was just at, why do I have to stay at the dorms and my house is just right there? Promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money. I packed a lunch for your first day. Sandwich from mom. It's a key item. How much you want to bet it's going to do nothing? A dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, and other ingredients between two pieces of bread. It makes a fantastic meal without a picnic. Gee, thanks, Pokemon Company. I always wondered what a sandwich is. It's not like I played Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and don't... It's not like I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force and don't already know you give sandwiches to your friends to make them like you. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to steer them all, the good times and the hard times too. If you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Let me guess, that's my first Pokemon Center? This here is Poco Path. This is where our first wild encounter will be, right? Piggy, 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 piggy. Things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon. They'll be on the path and the grass. R wait. So you're telling me that much like I mean, I know this isn't gonna be new to me because I've played Sword and Shield, but like, there's gonna be Pokemon in the path. I don't even have to step in wild grass. They're just gonna hop out in the path and then suddenly a battle's gonna happen. If you wanna try to catch a Pokemon, you gotta use a good old Pokeball. I got tons. Five Pokeballs. <laughs> if it were me, I'd give up a hundred Ultra Balls. 
Seriously, now my Pokemon Go space has a crap ton of Ultra Balls. Oink oink, says the pig. I guess we're catching Piggyot, Piggyo, Pig, Piguno, Pig oink. Time for some learning by doing. Try buying this Lechonk. Lechonk? The pig is named Lechonk. Why can't every why can't anything just be an animal? Like I, I swear it's a pig. Press the X button and throw a Pokeball. Feel damage if you're having a hard time. <sighs> Use Pokeball. That was easy. I didn't even have to touch it. I'm just not gonna do any nicknames. Like, I already ruined my chance with the nicknames the first time by hitting the back button too many times, so I'm just gonna give up on nicknames. Hala. Hala! I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Wait, what's that thing? Is that an item? Give me. Give me it. Oh, it's a potion. Well, that, well, that was fun. Are you a Pokemon? You are a rock. Pokeball go. What? Is that Pokeball floating in the air? Is that Pokeball supposed to float in the air? Fukeko, Fukeko, learn round. I can't read. Why is every Pokemon a book? Okay, let's move on. Now what? You getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon? Okay. Let me see, so far you've caught... Okay, no time for Pokedex exposition. Let's see that mysterious sound. Go O. Go O, play something else? Maybe I will. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. Let me guess, it's gonna be like Sword and Shield. I'm gonna try to battle and it's gonna not work. It's a tree. It's a... What is that? It's washed up on the beach and there's some... Dogs? Jesus! What? What was that? Did a phone just become a parachute? The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up. Sandwich? I open with sandwich. Yeah? Do protogens eat? Is that even a protogen? Am I using the right word? Nom gom nom. Wait, protogens eat ram. This isn't a protogen. I guess. Is this Pokemon speaking Spanish or something? Those shadows do not look natural at all. It looks so cool, whatever it is. It looks like a freaking Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Is it Mega Evolving? What is this thing? Like, how does it feel about me? Is, does it like me? Does it tolerate me? Is it my guardian spirit? Is it an enemy? Why can't I throw a ball at it? Tell me this game doesn't have quick time events. I want to follow it. I think I should follow it. I'm following it. We Inlet Grotto. And suddenly my running speed is gone. I guess the game doesn't want me to touch it, because god forbid I actually take it on a battle. 
Okay, so... So it will let me run, but only if I'm not so close to it that I can trigger something by touching it. There you are, you're okay, you're not hurt, right? No, my phone broke my fall. Somehow. Thank goodness, I was really worried. Right now your Pokemon's getting you back up here. You just gotta find somebody to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. I kind of just want to... What's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. kind of seems like it's waiting for you. Does it want you to follow it? Well, I think it does. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that is so cool. That Pokemon might be as strong as mine. Maybe stronger. Suddenly, she can see and hear everything I see in here, despite her being way up there. I know it sounds weird for me to go out of my way to catch every random Pokemon I see, but but the uh, but the catchphrase, so I've been told, is gotta catch them all, right? Its skin is very thin. If it is exposed to light, its blood heats up, causing it to grow weak. That's news to me. What's this green stuff? Is that another item over there? I want it. Hey, I'm touching its tail. Why can't I why can't I fight it? My head is literally up its ass. Give it a good sniff. It should have pulverized that rock. How powerful even is it? I wonder what that move was. I want to see it up close. How can you see anything? Something's coming. Behind you? Can I throw a ball at you? Can I catch you? You're all cute puppies. I want to catch them all. That dragon just sitting there like, come at me, bro. I'm surrounded by three dogs and that dragon's like, I'll take on a thousand. Oh, he's saving my life. Up here, quick. Ugh. Yay. Man, if it wasn't for that Pokemon saving my life, I probably would have been pounded by 14 werewolves. Way to go for a second, I thought you were both goners. Mm. These scene transitions are not natural. It looks like it perked up a little. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. You get more questions than answers, like number 96 Dark Mist. I got the swift move! And I didn't even have to battle the gym leader. How does this game even work? Where are the gym leaders and what's my goal in life? TMs can only be used once. Let's just get to the layhouse. That's a good spot to relax. You know what be a good spot to relax? The freaking dorm room. Let's just go into freaking school already. Isn't that what this is supposed to be the point of the game is to go to school? That guy is like a Sprigatito colored bag. Why that little... What are you doing out here? Oh god, is he gonna beat his Pokemon? I'm not talking to you two, you can show up. Armin and Humanity's track. And you're the son of a bitch. 
The Pokemon saved them, but once they out in the process, they got kind of slumpy afterward. Looked totally different. Unbelievably strong. Well, yes, it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Miraidon takes in battle is its true form. That's his Pokemon, isn't it? You can't go in the lab, it's locked. I've never seen you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too, do you? Why are you angry about me? Miraidon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. What sort of Pokemon is it? Watch him say none of your damn business. I might test your worthiness. Fine. I'll take you on. A little go getter. Use a spell to blast these doldrums away. I'm pretty much just hearing it as I am I am having a bad day and I'm gonna take it out of this little boy. What does round do? Attacks the target with a saw. Uh, if others use this move, they will add to melee as the initial user and the power to rouse be boosted. Well, it's got more power, so I'll give it a try. Use round! Bite! Well, that barely did anything. Amber. Let's see if I can burn myself a chipmunk. Chipmunks roasting on an open fire. Did it just change to nighttime already? Like, it, it's like the shadows are so strong, it changes from day to night every time the camera gets put on the guy. What the frick? Okay, um, Ember again. Did I win? Was a chipmunk? Wow, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. But if you really think you can take me right down off my hands for me, you'll need this. The Pokeball that he's been kept in. He put his Pokeball in key items. A Pokeball that holds me right on, given to you by a boy named Arvin. Wow, an item description that tells me literally what just happened and how I got it. That's totally useful. How many things are we going to do before we actually go to school? This video is too long. Our heroes gazed upon the school from the view atop the lighthouse. They walked toward the first town, battled some random trainers, caught some wild Pokemon, and visited the first Pokemon Center. The end. I hope you're excited because we're only two days in, and I feel like the hype train's not going to stop anytime soon. So I look forward to seeing more cool stuff tomorrow. Until then, thank you all for watching. Happy holidays. Peace.